And I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna put a lighter color paver on the outside. You know, I have in my head a Unilock paver that's a tan color, but I don't need to go get that exact Unilock swatch quite yet, or maybe ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this cinder block texture, it's just a tan texture, and check that out. Because I made that all one line by uh, deleting some of these scabs that separated the spaces, you can see that now I'm starting to develop my concept. I have that light colored Holland paver on the outside, that soldier course. I have that inside black paver as a sailor course. Now let's get into that main paver. And here's one I like to use right here, stone masonry multi. <laughs> it really is a representation of a lot of the products that are on the market. They're all, there's usually kind of, you know, three blends with a certain paver and it's a tan and a brown, it's a gray and a black, and maybe there's one that's a combination of those two. With any manufacturer you're working with, you're gonna have a blended three-piece product. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this masonry, uh, generic stone masonry multi swatch. We're gonna fill that in, check that out. And so we start to fill in our spaces and now we're designating, um, and we're actually showing the client you're gonna say, what's this black line? Well, that's a different kind of paver. That's a contrasting paver. I like to use black uh, as a border paver because it frames everything in. It starts to frame these shapes in. 